Hey, what up everybody? Today I'm gonna to show you how to easily mod your arcade one-up machine for dummies like me. It was easy enough. If you don't have common sense, this is not an easy job. So if you don't have common sense, maybe not do this and waste all the money you spent on your arcade machine. Uh, I'm not, I don't care about specs. I don't care about, uh, oh, these buttons have micro switches. Uh, I don't give a shit. This is just a cool thing to have in my basement and I just modded it so I don't have to keep buying new arcades. I'm gonna put all the links in the description of the video of all the materials I bought. So that way you guys know exactly what I got. And uh, maybe you could get the same thing. Everything's pretty cheap, you know, 20 bucks, 15 bucks. The only expensive thing was the uh, the emulator, the arcade box. I got that for, I think it was like 65, 70 bucks. Not too bad. Once you take out the stock buttons of the arcade, you can put these new buttons here that actually screw in with the black nuts that they come with it pretty easy. This is the arcade box. Um, cool little thing. I would say it comes with PS3 controllers. You don't need those. And uh, here's the arcade box. Pretty dope. It comes with all Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, uh, Nintendo 64, USB ports for your controls. Uh, HDMI, Ethernet import, uh, speaker import. Obviously, you want to cut the power, unplug the speaker, and then unscrew those two little nuts on either side of that board there. Right there, there's one, and the other one is on the other side, obviously. Once you're done with that, you're going to pull it apart and unplug the monitor and the other one with the black and yellow and red. But just be careful because the wires could come out. You got to be real careful with that. And then uh, that's the the uh, the plug for the original buttons for the arcade. Here's what they call the PCB, the Mortal Kombat PCB. You can probably sell that or just keep it. This is the new thing we're doing. This is the HDMI conversion for the arcade. It comes with its own power button. You could do settings on it, this and that. You could hook up your computer. It has um, HDMI, it has speaker um, inputs. Uh, the only thing is you gotta find a spot for it. So they say not to put it on the metal of the screen, but that black cord right there was a little too short. Even when I unscrewed that uh, inhibitor cord on to the left there. Uh, it's still too short, so I just ended up putting the HDMI converter on the metal of the screen, and I put the uh, the power button circuit board on the wood underneath. I used um, I used Velcro for the circuit board, and then initially I used Velcro for the on-off switch circuit board, but then I ended up just using um, screws just to make it more sturdy, uh, more reliable, more durable. Obviously you wanna unscrew these cheap ass arcade one up screws that are made out of aluminum foil. I ended up just buying a new set from Home Depot. Uh, just unscrew those. Don't forget to unscrew the, um, whatever they're called those things you put your hands on and then uh, take that off and then uh, the plastic be careful with this plastic it is extremely fragile and they don't sell replacements so watch out for that and this thing just lifts right off uh, obviously you're gonna unscrew these one two three four there's eight all together and then uh, this is the cream of the crop right here I saw this and I almost wanted to just stop because I don't want to ruin my thing but, uh, you know, uh, why not? I'm down for a challenge. Uh, these wires, uh, yeah, I wanted to freaking... If they had a face, I'd punch them. That's for sure. Because they kept breaking. And I didn't want to break them. And I was trying to pull them off. And they just weren't coming off. I was using a screwdriver. I was freaking going side to side trying to pull them off. These things were not coming off. And I just wanted to give this entire thing the people's elbow but i was already at the point of no return so i mean why not i was just you know just keep going just keep going hopefully this thing doesn't mess up and i don't have to spend any more money
So you take these buttons out by pressing the side and then pushing them through the board. Pretty easy. Here's a new button layout. Once you get all the old buttons out, you put the new ones in and then screw them in with a black nut. Again, common sense. And then with the wires, you wanna make sure each button is wired exactly the same. This is the port that's gonna go into the USB. That's the cable, that's where you plug in the cable. But you wanna make sure the wires are exactly the same for each button on each interface. Punch and Y, kick and B, etc. Make sure your joysticks are centered before you screw them in. You don't wanna mess with that. Now it's time to install this bad boy. Again, this comes with two USB ports, player one, player two. Obviously, you're gonna plug those into each control deck interface. Here's the finished uh, HDMI conversion. I screwed in the control deck for it on off button here. Uh, more sturdy, more durable. I did the Velcro thing first and it just kept shutting off by itself. I used this 3M tape, which was super strong for the arcade box. I put the top of the arcade box on that crossbar for the arcade which allowed the fan to facing to be facing out so that way it doesn't get too hot also i use screws for the uh the control panel interface up there with uh so that way you know because the wires are pretty heavy i didn't want it to like rip it down with the velcro and stuff like that like other people are doing and here's another look of behind the arcade i got everything in with screws uh, the tape for the arcade box, the tape for the uh, uh, power strip there so that doesn't move. And then it uh, looks pretty clean. So here's the finished product. Uh, the buttons light up great. You know, it looks cool with the lights off. There it is. Uh, I had to take out the on off button, the original on off button that came with the arcade. I had to take those out and then uh, install um uh, the new buttons because i needed a select button you have to have a select button some of these games require it also the select button lets you uh control the volume for the arcade box so you hold down select and then move up and down with the joystick that'll control the volume also it lets you exit games you hold select and then press start twice that lets you exit the game now what you want to do is press start on your control panel because you plugged it into start right go to your control settings and then configure controller and then that's gonna bring you to the uh, interface you got to hold a button on which side you want to configure any button doesn't matter and then it's gonna bring you to this layout here and then it's gonna let you configure all your um, buttons and how you want to set them up so that's a very important uh, aspect of this mod. Don't forget to do that or else you're going to be pressing a button to walk and then the joystick's going to be punch and kick. And here we got uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, it just came out for RK1 Up, but I'm not paying $600. Which is why I opted for this modding uh project here uh that's it everybody uh let me know uh this thing was easy but you know kind of tough it was intermediate i don't know common sense will get you through it uh see you later